People often ask me what my dream of the future is for nursing homes, and the answer is... Big keyboards. The answer is community. Now, hear me out. Nursing homes have lots of problems, and one of the biggest ones is that no one wants to be there. Nursing homes are like orphanages for older adults. No one ever tells me, when I get older, I want to live in a nursing home. Well, why is this? My opinion is that nursing homes don't feel like homes. And what makes a house into a home? Well, the people who live there, right? And the staff play a big part in that. Don't get me wrong, nursing home staff are intelligent and altruistic, so this isn't their fault. But the short version of the story is that people don't like working in nursing homes. There's a study from 2021 that found that the mean and median annual turnover rates for staff were 128% and 94% respectively. This is such a rampant problem that it's actually a quality measure now. And even if you take a look at a more optimistic looking example, I mean, come on, this is still really bad, right? And if the nurses don't want to work at the nursing home, then why would the patients want to live there? So at this point, some of you are probably thinking, Matthew, the function of the nursing home team is to decompress the hospital. So get your head out of the clouds. Hear me out. These issues are intrinsically linked. The president and CEO of the Healthcare Association Hawaii was talking to the media on August 26, 2022, and he straight up said that there aren't enough nursing home staff to accept all the hospital discharges. And believe me, this affects everything that we do. People ask, how come the staff are struggling with SBAR? Didn't we do an in-service? And yeah, maybe we did, but are the staff that you trained still employed there? And if the staff don't know the patients or the protocols, then yeah, we're going to have a harder time keeping our patients out of the hospitals. Now, some of you may be saying, Matthew, you can't fix this problem. True, but I also can't cure Alzheimer's disease. Struggling in vain to mitigate insurmountable problems is just part of the job description. If it were easy, everyone would have fixed it by now. No, Matthew, what I meant was that you are not the right person to fix this problem. This isn't a physician problem. Well, that's true for geriatrics in general, right? Most of the problems that I face are interdisciplinary in nature, and that doesn't mean turning a blind eye to everything. Ultimately, if the systems and partnerships that we're building are unsustainable, if they don't lead to healthy communities, then really, what's the point of all this work? What legacy do we want to pass on to our future? Uh, uh, what? Uh, oh, um, yeah, right, uh, okay. So, I'm being told that we don't have the budget for fancy keyboards, so my new dream is small keyboards. <laughs>